guys happy thursday vlogmas day two um i just woke up and i had an assignment to do for my marketing class that's due at 6 p.m so i just wanted to do it um before art basil i'm going back for a second day just i think it's gonna be the same thing as yesterday but they said it might be busier today so we'll see but it's like 9 9 30 9 40 right now um so yeah i just had avocado toast for breakfast and i'm gonna start getting ready soon but i wanted to oh i need to get my journal because i'm sharing my answer from yesterday so first i'm gonna read you guys my answer from what i wrote in my journal yesterday um for day one the question was list three things that you're grateful for and i wrote i'm grateful that i'm in no physical pain right now i have a healthy loving supportive relationship with both of my parents and mo who's my pet leopard gecko um yeah, so those are my three things that I'm grateful for. And I'm sharing journal prompt for day two with you guys right now. And then I'll share my answer in tomorrow's video. So it's going to keep going, the cycle. Um, okay, so this prompt I got from this book I have. It's called Be Happy by Dr. Rebecca Ray, founder of Happy Habits Program. I don't know what that is, but maybe I'll check it out. I've had this book for a while. There's a lot of journal prompts that are just like questions, quotes, um, I think little activities and stuff. Yeah, questions to ask yourself, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I was reading through this and this page caught my attention. So this isn't really a journal prompt, but I'm gonna like make it into a journal prompt. So I'm gonna kind of summarize in my own words, but basically Think of a negative, a reoccurring negative thought that you have been having about yourself that you feel like is holding you back. And there's a story that you keep telling yourself about yourself or about something and it's impacting you in a negative way. Think of a thought. Okay, so then it says, notice your thoughts, acknowledge your mind for doing its job to protect you. Now, ask yourself, there's a list of questions. One, is this thought helpful for you right now? Why or why not? Have you heard this story from your mind before? I'm gonna add in, if you have heard this story from your mind before, when does it seem to come up? How old is this story? What would happen if you let yourself get caught up in this story? And would it be a good use of your time and energy to pay attention to this thought? I'm gonna add another question. How can you reframe this story or this narrative and tell yourself a different narrative that would be more beneficial? So rewrite this negative thought in a different way that's more productive, I guess. I'll leave it at that. So yeah, I'm really excited to answer this question. I'm actually gonna go do it right now and make sure you guys come back for vlogging C3 because I'm gonna share my answer right in the beginning of that video. I said this yesterday, but I really encourage you guys to do this activity along with me follow along, answer these questions yourself. I think it's a really great time to self-reflect and kind of recommit to yourself and taking care of yourself and yeah, just strengthening your relationship with yourself. I think it's really important and it's really changed my life and I'm really passionate about it. So yeah, I just really wanna encourage all of you guys to do this with me. Really pretty day out today, totally blue sky. Also, I still have all of my Halloween decorations up like all of these this pumpkin i've been waiting to put up my christmas ones um i've been waiting for vlogmas but now the past you know yesterday and today obviously i'm really busy so in the next few days maybe this weekend i'm gonna do all my christmas decorations i'm gonna go get some christmas candles and do the holiday vibes i love decorating for the seasons i feel like especially in florida that's like the only way i know what time of year it is because the weather outside is always the same so it doesn't really feel like winter until i put out all my Christmas decorations, have like the balsam fir candle because then it smells like winter. So I'm really excited for that and you guys can help me or watch me. I want to be on FaceTime, like I want you guys to help me. How can I make this interactive? I'm all ready, this is my fit. I love how it came out. Um, also we have to wear all black, so that's why. Otherwise I would add some accessories, but ooh, maybe I'll bring some accessories and like take pictures outside. Is that a vibe? I don't know. Um, anyway, this dress my mom gave to me. It used to be hers. I have no idea where this is from, um, but I've had it since like high school. This jacket and these boots are both from Pretty Little Thing. I just got them recently and I'm obsessed. This jacket is like so comfy just because it's big and I wear it like a dress. 
So yeah, I feel like it looks cute with these um, boots also. And so my makeup, leave my hair down, I think, or maybe I'll put it up, I don't know. But this is the fit. <laughs> Um, but I've had so much fun today. It was so much busier today than yesterday, so I've been like running around here like a crazy person. Um, but I had an NFL player, Sean, Sean Wooden. He's played for the Dolphins. He was so chill. We were having so much fun. Um, yeah, I was with him for like so long because we were just like at the bars and like, walking around. He got a caricature. It's been so funny. Um, and then I had a bunch of influencers, which was so fun because we were talking about like just like content creation and agencies and social media and stuff like that and I love talking to people that are also interested in stuff that I'm interested in so yeah it's been so cool I feel like I've met so many cool people and made so many connections here which I love but yeah so I think we're I think they're kind of wrapping up they're gonna have like a cocktail party happy hour thing like up at the balcony so I'm gonna go to that but I just need to like come and sit in here for a minute and take a breather. I didn't record that much today at all. Oh, also I was hanging out with so many of the artists, which was so fun. But yeah, I just wanted to say, hey, here's my little snack room. With not a lot of snacks left, but yeah. I love her. You know, I just wanted to say a few things about uh, NFTs and uh, crypto art. Um, you know, NFTs really is about giving power, financial power, and independence back to the artists and the creators. At Landau, we really try to partner with artists with a lot of integrity, like things who create really amazing art, so we can bring fine art into the NFT and into the crypto game. Uh, each of these pieces are going to be broken up into five distinct shards, and if you collect all five of those shards, you can burn them, which is a, a crypto mechanic, to reconstitute each of those pieces. And when you do that, there's gonna be a bunch of little Easter eggs associated. So if you look at there's a golden door, there's some apples, there's a red door, which is that uh, James loves, you know, we love, I know we love that little shape over there. Uh, so there's gonna be little Easter eggs where we tell people uh, who have these shards, uh, knock knock some of the door. Guys, I'm signing off for day two. I don't know if you can even see me. Um, I'm just having some water. I showered, had dinner. I feel much better, but I'm still just like really tired and I'm just gonna go to bed so I can wake up tomorrow and feel rested. I have my internship tomorrow. And then what else am I doing? I'm helping out my friend with her school project. Um, something to do with clothing or advertising. I don't really know the details, but I'm helping her out with that to finish up some homework so yeah i have a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow so i just want to get a good night's sleep after a long really fun but a long day and yeah make sure to come back tomorrow so you can hear the answer to the journal prompt from today and i'm going to give the journal prompt for day three which will be exciting so yeah happy vlogmas and i'll see you guys tomorrow good night